We're at the South Jetty RV and Camping Resort, right? Yeah. Okay. And it's been raining here almost every day, but it's not bad. It's kind of a nice, pleasant rain. Not too cold or anything. We've had about two or three days of sun, and this is one of them where it was sunny a little bit. So we thought we'd give you a tour of the campground. It's pretty tiny in a way, but it's a lot of wooded forest area. It sounds like you're in trails getting around the campground. And there's different sections. Um, this section that we're in right here is the full hookup section. It's almost like they're doing some work or something because some of the sites are shut down. One thing that's different about this campground for us is we haven't really worn our shoes very much. We wear our slippers walking around. <laughs> yeah, because it's constantly raining. <laughs> so you might have to drive around for a while trying to find a full hookup site. If that's what you wanted, but uh, it offers something different about every site. And oh, we should show the bathroom. It's very nice. The bathrooms the are bathrooms really are nice here. Phenomenal. Gosh, they're one of the nicest bathrooms we've ever seen. They just recently redone it. Oh, we're good. Nobody in here. Look at these bathrooms. Pretty nice. Everything's nice and new, nice and clean, nice big heater. Always are checking it, making sure it's clean. That's the front gate. This is the laundry facilities. And the office. Facility. Up in this road right here, there's some yurts and some cabins, as well as a few um, sites that don't have full hookups. And there's like one or two sites up there that do have full hookups. This is the main lodge activity center. There's saunas in the men and women's bathrooms. Yeah, these bathrooms are also phenomenal ping pong we've never seen sauna before yes true Hi. this is where the lessons take place <laughs> back here are the bathrooms and the saunas The pickleball courts back there, basketball, an awesome pool that won't be opening up till the day we leave. The spa yes, is huh? awesome and it's super hot. Some sites down here are full hookup. That's an interesting They're camper there. A lot more private than the one we are at. But we just found the first stall we took when we came. We're pretty happy with that being that it rained so much. It's nice <laughs> to be on top of a hill. We've seen some of these places flood. <laughs> yeah. A lot of we got rain. some pictures. So 
It is nice to be up on a hill. Yeah, this campground's pretty much got it all. It's a great one. It'll be a good one to keep coming back to. There's a, you know, besides having, you know, the full hookups and everything, the cell phone service is really good for everything here. Um, I have 5G service. Yeah, Verizon's fine. T-Mobile's good. And um, they don't have a park Wi-Fi, but I don't think it's needed because, you know, you're able to get your own service through yourself. Um, also, this campground is really close to the town of Florence, and we walked a couple times where we walked all the way into the town and had a meal or checked things out. So, it's, it's just kind of really great. You don't even need to get on bikes or anything. It's about an hour away from any other town, though, such as Coos Bay. Oh yeah, or um, Eugene. Eugene, Oregon. Yeah, and or Portland. They're all really far away. So there's no Walmarts or Costco's or anything. But um, the town of Florence is one of the bigger towns as far as these resort towns go. And it has everything you need. There's grocery stores, um, pharmacies. Uh, there's like three hardware stores. Pretty much everything. Yes, yeah, so you're, so you're tucked away in this sort of nice little area that you're a little, feels a little too far away from everything else to want to take a drive, especially with gas prices the way they are right now. We did go to a few places. Um, did a couple hikes. Yeah, we looked to see what there was to do in Eugene and it didn't seem that much better than what we have here in this area, so we didn't just decided not to go in. Uh, as we drive around, there's just so much outdoor stuff, campgrounds everywhere. And the sand dunes are near us. If you go up this road... I think it's the East Lodge. Yeah, there's an East Lodge up there, and it's closed. So we kind of just made a circle around the park. That's about everything. That's probably the most busiest places, except for the part that's kind of closed off right now. And uh, it's all great. Oh, wait. There's another section to show you. We have to show you the yurts. Those are pretty awesome. I haven't been to a campground yet that's offered yurts. Have you Have you ever seen a yurt? No, no, <laughs> they have them here. I'll show you inside one of these. Yeah, they do a nice job. They they set out a booklet and that's cool. The grill outside. Cabins here are very nice too. So up here with the year it's the section C. We just came from section B. And where we are parked is section A. So we're back here at the laundromat. Um, where the dump station is. So if you get one of those other sites that's on full hookup, it's really easy to dump. Or if you have a honey tote. Yeah. Like these people in front of us have a little honey tote there. Yeah. Right underneath the front of their camper, that little blue thing. Yeah, that saves you the trouble of having to pack up everything and drive over there. Yeah. And this is our beautiful little tight little spot. Yeah, look at this nice uh, job this person did here. Parking this truck into this little space getting it all tucked in so it's out of the way. Nobody coming down the road has anything to worry about. <laughs> and we got lucky finding this spot when we came in. It's a cool spot. And it's a little tight for our size of um, fifth wheel, but we were able to fit it in. So. But we squeezed it. Yeah. 
we we got a good good process for backing in. So look how close we come to this tree over here. <laughs> this is like the last campground where we are like two inches away from a tree. Um, here we're a little further. We could have got closer if we wanted, I think, but <laughs> that's still pretty cool. Okay, well that wraps up our video <laughs> for South Jetty. Yeah. <laughs>